The average strand of spider silk is about three thousandths of a millimeter in diameter. There are some famous calculations suggesting a long strand of spider silk, the width of a pencil, can stop a plane in its tracks. It may be true, but would take years of harvesting if your only source of the stuff is spiders. So scientists have been spinning synthetic spider silk mechanically for years. There are a lot of ways to do it, but this new one may be a winner. She dissected uh, glands, uh, silk glands from the spiders, and then she used uh, ion-selective microelectrodes. So these are really, really tiny electrodes uh, that she used to determine the conditions along the glands. Then the team just tried to do the same thing in a beaker. We pump the protein into a low pH solution, so an acidic solution. Uh, and then the fibers form instantaneously as the protein hits the low pH buffer. It looks simple, and the research team says it is. It is also cheap and almost as good as the real thing. If you scale this up, um, I think that it uh, could be a cost-effective solution the way that we spin, since we don't need any expensive chemicals to, to spin the protein. So far, the team has made strands of silk more than a kilometer long, and the world is waiting to use it for all kinds of things, including clothing and lightweight protective gear. But this team says their product is a perfect scaffold, a base material that doctors can use to grow cells or tissues that can be implanted in the human body. The team is not done. The researchers are still trying to make their silk as strong as the real thing. But however it happens, it's likely some clothing of the future will be spidery. Kevin Enix, VOA News, Washington.